I got a phone call from uh, J.B. Keane, who was then the head of the techie department here in 2007. And he'd been given, the school had been given a, a big load of donated large, really lovely quality, old boatskin large. And he had the brainwave that would be nice to use it for what it was intended for, which was boat building. So I got involved in the project um, when going into sixth year. I think it was that we had to apply for it if we wanted to be part of it. Um, it had only been on one year before that, so it was kind of it was brand new. Um, I think at the time as well, it was unsure how long the project would go on, whether it was just for a year or two, or whether it would. It's obviously gone on for 14 years now. It's a day where they come in; they don't have to wear school uniform, they don't have to wear work wear. Um, so that differentiates the experience in itself, but then of course they're down here all day. So they're from nine o'clock, they go to registration, and from nine o'clock they're down here for the whole day, and, then, and ideally for two days um, if it can fit within their timetable. Um, so that means that they have, have a very, very different experience on those days. Uh, they have break times in line with their friends, so they can catch up with their friends and things like that. And, uh, but generally speaking, they're down here for a much longer, it's, it's a working day, effectively. Yeah, I think it's a really, it's really exciting that Plotkin's running this course. It's very unusual, and I'm so glad I have the opportunity to take part in it. And it's probably helpful for a lot of young people like me who want to go into like engineering and like manufacturing to know if it's the right thing for them. I think I want to be a joiner when I leave school, so... I think it'd be a good, it'd be helpful to, to have practice uh, and to learn to work wood. I want to use it for instrument making. Um, I'm very interested in making Clarsax in particular and the, the makers that I'm interested in have all previously been bow builders and they say that you learn a lot of the skills that you need from doing bow building. The pupils that we get down here are a mixed bag. We have pupils who come from the music school, who are high achievers, who uh, maybe have gotten all the uh, qualifications that they require in S5. Um, and then what happens is that they come here for the music school experience, which again is a very individual experience, and they, they're looking for something that's going to make them different um, on, their, on their CV, on their school even kind of profile. Uh, and so this offers something that is very different there are a range of pupils who come and do it, so some of them are these uh, these high achievers, but we also have a, a large percentage of pupils who are much more interested in their career in the crafts and practical aspects. Maybe the school format doesn't fit them perfectly, um, and this offers them progression from um, perhaps, say, at the National 5 qualifications that, that, that is kind of the ceiling for practical subjects, and um, this offers them a progression that is related to work in a much more kind of explicit way that uh, Mark is a boat builder who has vast experience and acts as a boss effectively. I give them sort of basic exercises to do before we let them loose. And uh, then we've done a fairly substantial repair on an old boat. And then probably around about Christmas time, uh, we start on a new boat, which is normally launched in June. But you need to have a good use of machines, and obviously we've got a very well kitted out workshop here, but um, most of it is hand skills, hand tools, the old fashioned way. Manual labour and hard work really. Um, you spend a lot of time with a chisel and trying to get something nice and flat rather than just putting it through a machine. Machines, like obviously you have to be safe and you have to get it right as well. Because it's not like it's not like it's a practice piece. You can't really make mistakes because it's going to someone and it's going to be on the water as well. And it's like when you're roving as well, you have to talk to each other and like say, you have like one person on one side holding something and the other doing something on the other side. Um, so you have to kind of talk to each other then. Whatever you get out of it in the year, at the end, the main thing would be the satisfaction of having that product of the boat that you've built yourself. And it's having such a, a great achievement, and and it's really satisfying. So whether it's something, whether you're interested in the woodworking or not, it's, it's still a great satisfaction to, show, to be able to say that you made that at the end of the day. It's very, very labour intensive. So it teaches you patience and pride in your work. But the, the tradition of, of building boats 
is a tradition of Scotland, wherever you are. Um, there are differences between different parts of the coast and different designs of hulls, but beyond that, boat building is in our blood. And I suppose really um, it would be a terrible shame if it stopped being in our blood. The clients that we have basically pay for the materials for the build, the materials and the consumables and that type of thing. But the um, Mark's tuition is what the council are paying for. So we're, 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 you know, it's a very, very clear line for us. Um, and so we're very, very grateful because that has given us huge security, or a huge sense of security. We've established the course now to the point where we feel very comfortable in what we're doing. Uh, the changes and developments are incremental rather than big leaps. But we now have a model, I think, that's transferable. Um, and so we'd be, it would be fairly straightforward to transfer this model to other schools if the right people are available and, and, and the right approach is made to it. I just think it's, um, it's absolutely unique. As far as I'm aware, I don't know that there's another school in the Highlands that are actually running a boat building course. And it does give a fantastic vehicle to kids to go on to do other and varied things, which they might not just get from the normal school curriculum. When I was finishing school, or in sixth year, I was quite unsure of what I wanted to do going on. I didn't have a career in mind. I wasn't sure what to go to college or uni or what to do. So I think it made me see that there are jobs in maritime that I could go to in the industry. Um, it was as a kind of somebody, I grew up with boats and sailing and things. So to see that I never thought of it as a career until kind of this course it opened my eyes that you could, it could be a job one day. Even if I don't use it for like woodworking, it's still something that sticks out and makes a difference and you can talk about and it's just, there's not many other people that have something like it. Nice. There are enough people that have come out of boat building now that have gone into work locally that it is recognised as a, a very positive thing. Um, and so support from the parent council and, and from parents in general is very good. And feedback from former pupils is very, very strong. It's always very strong. It's quite commonly described as, you know, one of the best things I ever did at school. Which is a, a great 